Hi guys, for today's DIY video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool light up headboard. It's actually very simple to make and I absolutely love the way it turned out. So if you want to see how to make it, just keep on watching. The first thing that you're going to need is a curtain rod. Depending on your room size or your room design, you can pick a curtain rod that fits and works for your space. You're also going to need some mini lights and I actually use two boxes of 300. Mine are from Walmart, but you can also get them at Target for very inexpensive. Also from Walmart, I got these Command Damage Free Hanging Hooks. I got an 18 pack and I did end up using all 18 of them. And lastly from Ikea, I got these Teresia curtains. They're like a sheer white curtain. The first step is to hang your curtain rod and I don't recommend you doing this yourself. I didn't even feel comfortable doing it so I had some help. It does require an electric drill. So thank you very much Tony for helping me hang the curtain rod. Once your curtain rod is all hung up and ready to go, you're going to start adding the hooks. Now depending on which hooks you choose, you'll have different instructions. Mine are really simple. They just have like a peel sticker and you add the hook. I did use an entire 18 pack and for reference, the size of the bed in this room is a full size. So you just want to go ahead and make a nice straight line with all of the hooks. Now you're going to begin adding your lights and you're going to have to be really patient with this part. If you're using new lights like I did, they tend to get kind of tangled up. So as you can see here, just removing the tangles, but you want to like drape them down and then hook them on top of the hook and just continue this process until all the hooks are covered with the strings of lights. Once you're finished hanging the lights, this is what they will look like. Then you want to go ahead and take your curtain rod down and add the curtains to the curtain rod. Once you're all done adding the curtains to the curtain rod, you want to go ahead and put that curtain rod back up. Don't forget if yours like mine has a little screw to put it back in because this will make it extra secure. You don't want that curtain rod falling down. And then you're going to go ahead and just arrange the curtains however you would like them to go, making sure there's no little holes or spaces in the headboard. Here's what the finished headboard looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, it's pretty simple to make and very affordable. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this. If you decide to make this headboard, I would absolutely love to see it. Make sure to tweet me a picture or tag me on Instagram, at Laguna Beach Love. Don't forget to check out my other DIY videos on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!